Good morning, I'm Nikki Stanzione. I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style, inching closer to Friday. We inching. are. Do you know 10 days away from Christmas? That ten is so days. scary. Have you bought anything for anybody yet? I bought a few things. I still have a lot to do. I'm going to do most of it probably back home so I don't have to travel with all the gifts. Right. But I have done some shopping. And that's Absolutely. actually a good point that you just made. You know, you really should check ahead with your airline carriers because a lot of the times you wrap those gifts and then you go through security and when you open your bags for, through security, sometimes mm -hmm. they'll make you unwrap the gift. So. It's a good thing to not waste your time wrapping it unless you already know that they're not going to ruin all that, you know, all that good work that you did. So good thing to think ahead about. Absolutely. And we're both traveling uh, this season, of course, so you definitely want to make sure that you uh, really follow all of those security rules. Security is really high, at a very high alert when you get to this time of year with all the travelers. So, mm -hmm. you know, wear clothes that are easy when you have to do those uh, security checks. I always end up wearing the most difficult shoes <laughs> every time. And it's just, I always say, why didn't I just put on Uggs? Yeah, keep it easy. <laughs> keep it easy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the National Transportation Safety Board is calling for a nationwide ban on cell phone use while driving. That means no texting. We got that one. That's fine. No emailing. Got it. No talking, though, even with a Bluetooth. That's going to hurt a lot of people if it goes through. The NTSB is calling distracted driving the new DUI. Government statistics tell us more than 3,000 people died on the road last year as a result of distracted driving. So. Well, 35 states ban text messaging while driving, which I totally agree with. 30 states banning cell phone use by novice drivers, and 10 ban all use of handheld cell phones. Now, the state of New Mexico does not have a statewide cell phone law, but they do allow cities to enact their own cell phone laws. So. It'll be interesting mm -hmm. if you can talk on a Bluetooth. I mean, I know I use a lot of that in between time in my day only on the Bluetooth. I won't hold the phone, but if I'm on the Bluetooth, I feel like I'm still focused. But the point that they're making, I guess, is that you're still, your mind is still mm -hmm. distracted. Still distracted. What's next, though? No radio? <laughs> I know, right? I mean, I can't sing in the car. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it might be taking a little too far for That's kind of scary, yeah. Well, we want to know what you think about a nationwide ban on cell phone use. Yeah, you can just send your comments to facebook.com slash New Mexico style or casa.com. So we got the information there. We'd love to hear from you on this. And we'll move it on to check in with Elizabeth Alvarez now in the KRQ News 13 Center with today's headlines. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hey, Hi, good Elizabeth. morning, ladies. Good morning to New Mexico. Topping your morning news headlines this morning morning. Albuquerque Public Schools is facing a $19 million shortfall and that means unfortunately more budget cuts. The district has paid an additional $7 million in benefits for retired teachers and workers. It is also seeing a decline in enrollment. There's nowhere else to go but staff and with the vast majority of that staff being in the classroom um, my fear is that that's the only place to go for additional cuts. The budget situation could get even worse because the state is talking about forcing all school districts to pay more into their employee pension plans. A New Mexico state legislator is stirring up plenty of controversy this morning. Representative Cher Cheryl William Stapleton of Albuquerque accused Republican Nora Espinosa of Roswell of, quote, carrying the Mexicans water on the fourth floor. Now the fourth floor of the roundhouse is where Governor Susana Martinez's office is located. In late October, News 13's investigative reporter Larry Barker exposed that Stapleton, who is also a well-paid APS administrator, was collecting her district salary while serving in the legislature. But Superintendent Winston Brooks changed APS's policy after the fact to allow it. Now, Representative Espinosa called for an investigation into Brooks's actions. She thinks that's why Stapleton might have lashed out at her. He messed up one too many times for Attorney General Gary King, and now New Mexico's top cop will ask a judge to send former Public Regulation Commissioner Jerome Block Jr. to prison. Block was kicked out of the Santa Fe Drug Court program yesterday after his third arrest for breaking the rules. Now, it is not clear what he's accused of doing this time around, but completing drug court was a condition of his plea deal. Block remains in the Santa Fe County Jail for now. He stands to be resentenced within a month. The 86-year-old Albuquerque man who was stranded in Arizona with his wife, remember this uh, uh, pretty sad story, is waking up in his own bed this morning. Dana Davis returned to Albuquerque yesterday. This is him here. He and his wife, Betty, took a wrong turn and got stuck in their car, lost in the forest for five days. Well, Betty died when they tried to hike out. Their daughter says Dana Davis, though, is doing well physically, but is still having a hard time with the loss of his wife. They had been married for 60 years. 
A warning for you while you're out and about doing your holiday shopping. Albuquerque police have named the five top places crooks like to target. Listen up. Yeah, at number five, it's a tie between Papa Do's and Outback Steakhouse, which are right across the free freeway from each other near Jefferson. Presbyterian Hospital, Hospital is number four on the list. Next is the Coronado Mall. Number two is the Century Rio 24 Theaters off of I-25. And the top spot thieves like to target is the Wind Rock Mall area. That's actually where uh, there's a Toys R Us nearby as well. All right, so why not stay home and shop online, right? Friday is free shipping day, and more than 2,000 retailers will offer online shoppers no shipping costs. And the bonus here, delivery is guaranteed by Christmas. That does it for your morning news headlines this Thursday morning. Don't forget to start your day every day with Kristen, Matt Morrow, and myself on KRQE News 13 from 5 to 7 a.m. Ladies, I'm going to send it back to you. Thanks, Elizabeth. You know, that was interesting what you were saying about the free delivery and everything being able to get there. That alleviates the whole wrapping your gift issue True. and when you're traveling, right? I know. Not to mention the extra $50 if you go one pound over 50 in your luggage. So, yeah. so you'll, save, you'll save some money. Yeah, no definitely. Good stuff. Thanks, Elizabeth. Have a good day. You too. And award season kicked off about two hours ago with the announcement of the 2012 Golden Globe nominations. Gerard Butler, Woody Harrelson, Rashida Jones, and Sofia Vergara, I love her, just announced the nominations. So mm -hmm. exciting. You want to get to them? Yeah, Let's sure. tell them something. Let's see. Best Actress in a Drama, Glenn Close, Viola Davis, Rooney Mara, Meryl Streep. And Tilda Swinton. Yes, and that would tough be, category. I guess, yeah, that's a really tough category. And Best Director in a Motion Picture right now, uh, looking like it's going to be a really good race. That's Woody Allen, George Clooney, Michael Hayes, and Alex Payne, Martin Scorsese, and that's for Hugo. Um, you know, I, I think it's going to be really interesting because George Clooney got three nominations, one for his acting in The Descendants, one for the screenplay for Ides of March, and one for directing as well. That we, uh, th so, so he's... he's three different categories. Yeah, That's I mean, cool. and also look, Ryan Gosling, two nominations. Yeah. That's so going to be good. That, that'll be good stuff. But you know what I think my favorite part of this is? What? It's going to be who's hosting it. I know. Have you heard of this? Consider yourself warned. Yeah, the 69th annual Golden Globe set for January 15th will be hosted by Ricky Gervais. I wonder if there will be any scared celebs <laughs> yes. in the audience. But you know what? I thought it made it a little more entertaining for us to yeah. watch. So I th I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be good. And I want to mention, of course, we are on Fox. And I'm proud to say that Best Comedy Series, two shows from Fox, oh, Glee and New Girl, both up for nominations. They're going up against Modern Family, Episodes, and Enlightened. And of course, there's so many more nominations. You can go online and read all about them. But those are some noteworthy ones. And of course, we'll be rooting for the Fox shows. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. <laughs> now, you may have skipped the Knob Hill shopping store. Remember earlier mm -hmm, this month mm -hmm. when we had that crazy winter storm, <laughs> hurricane force winds. But yeah. today, you get a second chance at it to get back and go at it for some of the great deals at the Knob Hill Park and Shop. That's right. More than 40 stores and restaurants are offering special sales today. And the parking, this is the good part, is free. That's the, really the best part. Mm -hmm. So good stuff. Head out there. You know, the weather's going to be beautiful today. So great day to get out there and do some Christmas shopping. Awesome. And speaking of Christmas, the last big push for Toys for Tots, we've been talking about it all week, mm -hmm. continues through Sunday. The Marines yeah. collected $19,000 and 3,000 toys at Monday's last big push, but they have been consistently uh, getting more toys and more donations. So uh, they're still a little short but um, they are still accepting those toys. And yeah. right now, it's the older kids that they're in need for. It's right. the 8 to 12 year old girls and even the 8 to 12 year old boys. So mm -hmm. if you have the chance, stop by and maybe pick up a few toys for those that are in need. Yeah, and you can take it over to the Southeast Exhibit Hall at the Albuquerque Convention Center. And as Kristen mentioned, all the way through Sunday. So you really have all the way up through the weekend. Definitely don't want to miss out on doing that and taking care of those kids. And as Kristen said, weather won't be so bad, at least for now. But it could change over the weekend, right? That's right. Yeah, changes moving in this weekend, but today, get out and enjoy. Just beautiful out there. Look at this picture. The view from our Taos webcam. Just gorgeous out there. You can see all the fresh powder from the last storm system that just rolled out yesterday. Uh, behind the system, though, the cold is in. Colder start. We'll be looking at more sunshine and then a cooler afternoon as we head through the day behind that front. 29 degrees right now.